Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen going uh, in front of the Senate Finance Committee tomorrow to answer questions about hot inflation and the toll on Americans' wallets. Just last week, Yellen admitted she was wrong about the path that she thought inflation would take. Joining us right now is Senator Bill Cassidy. He's a member of the Finance Committee. Good morning to you, Senator. Um, what exactly do you think that you're hoping to, to find out from, from the White House, from this administration, from Janet Yellen? And, and what do you think is actually possible? Because we often talk about uh, the, the, the tools that uh, can happen politically, but really that so much of the toolkit is sitting at the Federal Reserve. Yes, yeah, so I'm hoping that she has a plan. Wouldn't that be great? And as regards what she can do, there's some variables that she can't affect, but there's some that she can. For example, the high price of energy is driving a lot of inflation. That's a variable they can do something about. We could increase North American supply of energy by just committing to having the regulatory state work on behalf of increasing that supply as opposed to retarding that supply. If they did that, that would send a signal to the market. Futures would do better. Uh, there would be a downward pressure. That's a good thing. And that would decrease inflation, help the pocketbook. That, I want a plan, and North American energy would be a great plan to have. Well, why do you think, look, as you know, there are so many permits now that are out there. And, and just contextually, because I know you've, you've, you've made the critique, a lot, lot of Republicans have critiqued the Democrats, Democrats have critiqued, uh, critiqued the Republicans. You know, uh, under Biden now, there have been more permits uh, allowed uh, than even under President Trump. And yet there's still not the drilling. And at least the question is, when do you think that's going to happen? What do you think is preventing that from happening? Does anyone really think they want it to happen? Does anyone look at their regulations or the statements they're making from the regulatory state and think that the regulatory state wants this to happen? Of course, the answer is no. You've also got to pit permit pipelines. You've got to permit facilities to process. Until they do that, everything's kind of a stranded asset. And they've made it clear that they're not going to do that very easily. So, one, you got to start sending a different signal. Not only are we going to put this tool in place, but we're going to put everything around it that you need to do. I th think the reason they're not doing it is that they've got a kind of a civil war in their administration. Those who want to leave it in the ground, so to speak, um, uh, and make the American people pay more to encourage them to transition to electric vehicles, which aren't here yet, um, versus those who say, my gosh, Inflation is sky high. We need a plan. This would be a component of a plan. Let's do it. It helps ourselves. It helps the job market. It helps our European allies. Um, and that's not where that civil war seems to be favoring those who want but to make explain, the American people pay more. Explain this piece of it. You know, and, and I, I totally understand the argument to drill more. The question is, can you drill fast enough to change the dynamic in terms of pricing right this minute? So, so part of what you need to do is reassure the markets that there is a long-term commitment to increase supply. Now, if you do that, uh, and then, by the way, you happen to le release some, some crude from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, you know that the future is going to be more plentiful. There's a little bit of a downward pressure, but there's things you can do right now. We have Canadian tar sands, which cannot get to the Gulf Coast, they could replace the, tar, the, the, the oil that is coming from Russia. Our Gulf Coast refineries can refine it in an environmentally sensitive way. Let's expedite that by barge or by rail. Uh, there's other things you can do. You just got to get the regulatory state pointed right. in that direction. That would be a plan to lower inflation. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.